Hello again, everyone. I'm, uh, I'm here again to stream some Factorio MMO science blueprints. At the end of the last stream, we talked about uh, setting this one up to see how it flowed, make sure that it worked. I did that. Uh, you, you can see here that uh, I have installed the creative mod and I have uh, it all flowing. Uh, I did this earlier uh, because it took it a while to spin up. The red circuits just barely makes it, and it seems to actually get kind of a little bit of a a little bit behind. There could be some inserters that are uh, maybe a little bit too slow. Um, they're all yellow inserters. I may. Um, increase this one to blue inserters all over. I did upgrade the wall inserters here a little bit um, because these definitely were not keeping up uh, and now they they are just barely. Uh, but the last two blue sciences don't seem to run all the time. It could also be because these, stack ins these inserters all have their full stack bonus of three and we don't um, and we wouldn't have that at this point in the game. I can't. The, the third stack bonus for non-stack inserter, inserters doesn't come until much later. So that could be part of it as well. These early machines are just picking up too much. Yeah, they have six, seven in them. That's a bit too much. So anyway, that is the uh, the end of blue science and gray science, also known as uh, military and uh, chemical. So I'm going to uh, deconstruct this whole thing. I have a blueprint of it, fear not. Uh, it is in here. I actually have three blueprints of it. Uh, the base science blueprint, and then the add-on modules for the optional uh, red circuits and uh, solid fuel. Uh, so I'm going to deconstruct this whole thing. Bots do the work here. I want to just be careful. I'm leaving this last uh, this last belt here in place because I would like to use it as a guideline. Uh, let me use a little bit of creative mod, matter void, just to drain it of the steel. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Okay. So we have, let me grab my notes, get those together. So tonight we're probably just going to do uh, purple science. There's a lot that goes into uh, purple and, and yellow, so I don't think we'll get to both. But we'll see. We could get to both. Hey, Sequel Lama. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so... I grabbed the wrong... Or didn't I? I didn't. Never mind. Okay, so... Uh, purple Science, also known as Production Science, needs rails, which is new in 0 0.17. Uh, electric furnaces and productivity modules. I always like to start with the electric furnaces. Um, I think a lot of people do. Uh, also different than the last four sciences, um, by this point in the game we definitely will have a supply of the Assembler Mark II, Assembling Machine twos. So I'm going to just start with those and bypass the um, two science per second and just jump straight to three science per second. And uh, if you don't remember from the last stream, the goal for this is five science per second. Uh, once we get to um, once we get to yellow assembly machines, which are assembly machine threes, I want to check uh, one thing quickly here, which is not that. And I moved it out. Bad. Uh, 
I want to make sure that I have these um, nicely aligned. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I like it to be nice. Um, and I think that's a good spot right there because it's right in line. So these will make electric furnaces. We need a lot, uh, seven of these. I'm just going to pair them off like we usually do. And I'm going to default to the fast inserters at this point as well. Um, because at this point we need uh, more material than than we'll necessarily uh, have with or have have available to us with the yellow inserters. Uh, for this as well, I'm going to. I'm going to actually do a little bit of uh, difference here. I'm going to use um, the uh, output here, and I'm going to do a, a, a second input belt that's grabbing. Um, I figured this out uh, previous to the stream, um, but the reason being, the reason will be evident in a, in a moment. Um, it's not going to line up pretty. How do I want to do this to make it line up right? Oh, I know. This needs to go like that. Uh, so that's the uh, input belt for steel. This is the input belt for stone bricks. Hey, Fazen. Thanks for coming by. And we're also going to have an output belt here. Uh, this will go uh, toward the science assemblers. And then I need a... Uh, I don't like that. Then I need another input belt here. Um, I'm going to move this. <laughs> I did this a lot yesterday. Um, Probably um, didn't sit well with some people, but I want to look at, while I'm at it, I also want to look at this, uh, the way this lines up as well. Yeah, I think I'm just going to add those extra two spaces here as well, um, just for kind of posterity's sake, um, and then I'm just going to take these completely out. It's just, it's too tight if I try and, if I try and rush it a, a little too much. So this is going to be a half a belt of green circuits and a half a belt of red circuits. Actually, I'm a little nervous that my notes might not be right on this. I better check. Uh, better check Helmut, because this might not be right. This is not right. I need a whole belt of red circuits. Um, eventually, so this is going to. No, this could be. So this could be a blue belt. Yeah, this will be enough. This could be a blue belt eventually. It doesn't need to be at this point, um, but it'll be eventually be one. Um, the alternative is we could do a we could do a a full we could do a slower belt, red belt, and you know I think actually doing a red belt is better because um, I know Catherine Sky mentioned not wanting to have too many too many requirements of blue belts just because if we're doing this as a speed run um, we won't want that to be the case so if I share if I have a red a belt of red circuits that share between both of these components then I'll still need some green circuits which would be fine 
and just make this an entire belt of red circuits. Uh, put in the first slot. And then I'm going to move this and put a or put this over here for the for the uh, productivity module one. And I forget where those are. And put those there. Uh, they'll output just like these do here. They'll pick up the red circuits from this side and the green circuits from this side. And that'll work. Um, I think that'll work. So I'm going to extend these out now that I have this working plan. We need seven of these. That's four, six. And the seventh one, uh, the alter one, one option is to, nope, leave that in, is to put an eighth one there for uh, evenness, but since it's a straight line, seven is fine. Uh, we've already basically built this, so I'm going to just put that in. Uh, we need, we need 20 of those. And we need this belt in the middle that I forgot about. The alternative here would be to um, split these into two two columns, um, and then use a uh, and then and then combine them in the middle. Um, we're going to have uh, twenty eight assemblers for each of the sciences and I think just putting putting a column of 28 is okay here in the end uh, it's not gonna matter that much we'll have plenty of space I'm going to put a uh, crossover here for this uh, this science or these science materials to uh, proceed into the um, into the science factories uh, there will be two items on this belt, the, the electric engines and the productivity module level one. Uh, so the next thing we need to make is the rails. Uh, I know I'm going to have an input belt of iron. I can't draw straight lines by the way, just so everyone knows. Input belt of iron, a, a shared belt of I worked this out ahead of time too. A shared belt of steel and stone bricks, and then a uh, assembler making the uh, or it's a group of assemblers making the rails here and the iron sticks here. They're fine. Oh, the, the belt's being crooked? Yeah. Well, I can't draw straight lines. It's a character flaw, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so we'll need uh, inserters here, here and here, here and here, and there. I think that's good for one block. Um, so we need, so the, the, the way this works is a little, it's a little crazy because, um, we can't possibly fit all of the, um, all of the rails on a single belt here. It just produces way too many rails. Um, in the end, we'll need, f we need, a, uh, 50 of them. I mean, we could do a blue belt here. But uh, my idea was simply to just, we need, well, first we need uh, two, four, six, eight, ten of these. And five, five iron stick makers. So uh, my, my idea here was to just um, 
use, I'm actually going to use the new er, uh, functionality of the splitters to f force the output to the inside of the belt um, after each pair. Hey Lana! And then that'll handle the first three pairs and after the uh, second pair here I'm just going to uh, merge those in like this. And then I'll do the same here with those. Did I mess this up? I did mess this up. Excellent. I want this actually back here. <laughs> Thank you, Malarian. I knew I was. That's why I'm here. So, by doing this, um, I get uh, what will eventually be three-fifths of this, so 30, on what will eventually be a red belt. And then, uh, once those 30 are consumed over here by, um, by assemblers making yellow science, then I can... Um, then I can re restock it with these last two machines worth. I think that'll work out kind of the best. And remember, this is for the MMO, so um, trying to make it as, as simple as possible for everyone to, uh, to be able to construct it is the goal. Um, I don't want belt weaving. I don't want uh, a bunch of kind of craziness. Um, because it'll be a chaotic afternoon uh, slash evening slash morning depending on day anyway depending on what, what what part of the country you're in so before I forget I need to mark my inputs because I will forget because I always forget this one's iron this one is steel and regular stone And this goes and connects into there. And uh, I've, I explained this earlier, but for those of you who weren't here earlier or who were um, not in this and who were not in the stream yesterday, this is my um, my idea for a a sort of science mini bus. Uh, this belt here symbolizes the top of the regular bus. Here's the space for the uh, bus adjacent content, pipes, power poles, robo ports, etc. And then my idea here is to have four belts uh, worth of space here for science to go and that would allow for the labs to be on this side of the, bu uh, the science, somewhere in the middle, in between sets of science, or on the, on the left side um, just, uh, just so that, because I don't know how we're going to end up doing it on the day, so having some space here and having the ability for the belts to travel, to, uh, to travel back and forth, I think will work out best in the, um, on the day. Yeah, that's, that's the idea, is to make them as simple and as functional as we can, um, while not, uh, not compromising uh, effectiveness so um, so I think I can just duplicate out the yellow science it's a quite a tall um, I hate it when it does that. It's a feature of the uh, unlimited nature of creative mode, or not creative, well, of editor mode, that when you run out of what's in your supply, it zeroes it out, but it doesn't actually. And this is the output belt for science, so this one's going to actually run all the way down 
to the uh, n to the end of where this bus would be. Whether it uh, turns left or turns right at this point, I won't know until the day. I would imagine this. Uh, well, and it really depends on which direction the bus goes. So um, I don't want to make any any plans ahead of time for that. Um, so this is uh, purple science. I think it's I think it's correct. Um, I think all my numbers are 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 correct here on my counts. Thanks, Fazian. Glad you watched it. Seven of those, twenty of these, five of these, direct inserted, ten of these. And in fact, this might not quite be enough. Uh, a yellow belt even here might not quite be enough. We might have to go uh, full full red belt here. <laughs> what? Oh, the the emote. Okay. Um, so we have to go full full red belt even here. The alternative is to just do this merge more often. Um, and I suppose we could do that as well. But I think it's fine. Uh, worst case, we just go up to the red belt sooner than than everything else. I know all we'll need is a red belt um, in the end. Like at when these are. Well, we could do the simple. Because we could do the math. The but doing math on stream isn't a good plan. It'll probably keep up. So that's the uh, that's yellow science. And actually, I have more time than I thought. So I can actually probably do uh, uh, yellow. Uh, wait, nobody caught this. This is purple, not yellow. Ha <laughs> ha, that would have been bad. Well, I would have caught it eventually, probably. And we need to, why is that blinking? Oh, because I, yeah. Yeah, those are purple signs. So, um, yes. Rails, Electric Furnaces, and Productivity Module 1. So we could actually probably start on Yellow Science as well. Um, I was thinking that it would take longer to to do that than it did. So, and I have time. Uh, so Yellow Science, we're going to do the same kind of concept. Uh, you watching on your phone, Lana? That's a That's a bad habit. Uh, so we're going to do the same kind of thing here with, with yellow signs. We'll have two input belts and the output belt is shared with purple. Um, yellow signs requires uh, processing units, which are also frequently called blue circuits. Uh, the, the robot frames and low density structures. Uh, some spacer blueprints. Yeah. That's that's not a bad plan to to just drop the drop the input slots here or a or maybe like a, a wall um, kind of concept of okay here's here's the start and end spacing to line them up and reserve the space because yeah you're right somebody could build extra stuff in between the uh, in between the sciences and then crowd it out. We were speculating yesterday in the stream about. Uh, how to how to do this and uh i'm i'm still not sure either but um yeah we could do um i can i can do a a spacer blueprint for for to just get the kind of this the the day that for the day that would be easy enough to do i need to read read stamp all of these blueprints anyway um because they're all stamped up vertically and it's a little easier to see them when they're laid out uh, when they're laid out horizontally. You can see what's in them, and uh, and make a little bit make it look a little bit better. Okay, these should be the same. Twenty-eight a little trimming there. <laughs> That's okay. I I do the same thing on my phone. 
uh, the robot frames require a, an odd, odd number. Um, they require 27. I thought about doing uh, 28 of them and direct inserting, but and we could do that. But I think we need a full belt of, uh, we're going to want to have kind of a full belt of low density structures. Because there's, um, because there's just a ton of those. It's not that they, uh, and it requires a lot more of them. So I think we're going to want a full belt devoted to those. So I'm going to share the belt between the robot frames and the blue circuits. Um, you know what, actually I think I will start with the low density structures here. Um, for those of you who weren't here yesterday, I did, um, I did blue science and I created it with optional blueprints for, um, for a companion red circuit and solid fuel. So we have the choice on the day to, um, to either put red circuits on the bus and and belt them into the blue science, or to make a dedicated assembly just for blue science red circuits, and then um, and then move them in, and then connect them in this way. And the same thing with solid fuel. Um, in the end, it doesn't horribly matter because either you need a pipe of light oil on the bus. Or you need a belt with like two and a half solid fuel per second on the bus, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I suspect we'll go the solid fuel on the bus route, but just in case, the uh, the blueprints are here to make to make all of them. Um, no, I make the low density structures locally. Uh, it there's just it just takes so many, and there's a couple of ways to do it, and it's uh, it's a little bit scary kind of. The way that it works, um, we need 80 low density structure machines, and that's going to be um, an awful lot of copper, like more than two belt, two blue belts worth of copper to to fill those. Once we get to uh, assembler assembling machine threes, yeah, 80. Well, we're our goal is five science per second once we upgrade these to assembling machine threes. So, um, yeah. 80 is the the magic number here. Um, so we could do. So my my thought was to do either two blocks of 40 right next to each other, um, and that's probably what I'll do. Just because 80 t uh, or 40 tall is a little bit too tall, I think we should probably go with the width rather than the height. Yeah, that's a good idea, Malarian, too, is to have the, have the, just pipe the crude in and, and just crack it all, or uh, convert it all into solid fuel right there. I didn't, uh, I didn't prep for that, but we could, I could have, I could have a, an option for that as well. Um, either way, though, it's still a, a line, it's still a tile. It's still either a, a tile for a belt of solid fuel, or a tile for a pipe. So, in the end... I don't really. Th I don't think it really matters. Um, as far as as far as space on the bus. So I think what I'll do with the low density structures is to um, let's see. We need uh, copper and steel and plastic. Uh, we need a lot more copper. A lot more copper than either plastic or steel. So I'm going to have a single belt of uh, single belt of copper, a shared belt of plasty steel, and then an output belt in the middle. And then. And in that, uh, 
um, that's that's what I'm uh, thinking. Phasian is 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 having an optional uh, sort of connectable uh, processing units, just like I did with Blue Science. I trailed off on that, didn't I? I have a bad habit of trailing off on a thought. So in Blue Science, I did those add-ons for red circuits and uh, solid fuel, and I, I'm thinking of doing the same thing here for for uh, blue circuits processing units, um, just for the same concept in that it's just too much. Otherwise, um, so I'm gonna it's 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 too much of a time uh, question as to are we gonna have a dedicated blue circuit assembly up and running, or do we do one as part of science, or what? So I think I'm going to, and I'm going to run out of space here. <laughs> I can already see that I'm going to run out of width uh, in this. I should I should move this way over. Um, do I want to annoy the bots now or annoy the bots later? I think I will annoy the bots now. Uh -huh. I'm going to move this way over. I love the new cut and paste stuff. And then I will just annoy the... Oh, I didn't have to annoy the bots. Right, of course. Because I'm in cheat mode. Yeah, all three, and especially when it's all three at the same time. Uh, what I think we're going to do here, though, is share this inner copper belt. Can I do that? Should I do that? I think I should. Uh, myths and maths, either one, they both, they both work or don't work depending on on your, on your proclivities. Um, so we need how much copper do we need for this mess? Uh, we'll need a hundred divided across these four belts. If we do four red belts, that'll be enough. Then we don't have to go to blue, which will be even nicer than my original plan. So we're going to that. So this is eight. I do this ten times. That should be eighty. That is eighty. Excellent. The other um, reason for having an extra amount of space here is because of all of these supply belts going back and forth. We figured this out yesterday in doing the um, blue science. There's just too much stuff that needs to go side to side in the um, in inside of the the science blueprint to try and um, do any sort of uh, combining or merging or undergrounding and overgrounding and overgrounding, there's a new one. And and so I just decided to just add a bunch of extra space here. Um, on one hand, space in Factorio is free. On the other hand, we are playing on an island map, but we should have plenty of space and science is the most important thing anyways. Okay, I'm going to add a. I think I'm going to add a single underground here. Line it up with the one on the other side, and I think I'll do them this way. And do another one here. Merge these in. Six of one, half dozen the other. And that is low density structures.
<laughs> we may still may not have enough space. We'll see. Um, next is robot frames. Let's see. They'll need... <laughs> yeah. KOS didn't make this thing big enough. So we need... Uh, for robot frames, we need a lot of stuff. Four things to be exact. Uh, the the engines, the electric engines, we will make here in the assembly. Uh, everything else will come in from the bus. So what I like to do is share a belt with green circuits and steel, and then bring the batteries in and merge them in with the electric engines coming from the assembly. Um, actually, I'm going to do that. I was almost going to do this backwards. I want to put. Uh, I actually want to put the um, gears and the pipes here and then uh, do the engines up here someplace and then do the uh, robot frames over here someplace. Uh, the reason being is if we have that bolted on blue circuit assembly over here someplace then or it wouldn't be that far actually it'd only be over here I want that to merge in with the um, with the, I would be able to, to bolt that on easily, so I want that on the end. So I want the uh, robot frames here in the middle. Or do I? Actually, it doesn't matter. And actually, it might look better the way that I was going to do it. Let's go back to the way that I was going to do it. Stick with the plan. Okay, so we needed a belt coming in that contains circuits, green circuits, and steel. And then we're going to have another belt here. And that's going to come from just to the left where the engines are being made. And then we need an output belt. For this, we could almost do. Um, we could almost do the output belt on the inside because we just we don't need every 20 seconds we need a couple of items. So honestly, I think that's what I'll do. And actually, in fact, I think I'll put, to even make it a little bit easier, I think I'll switch it up and put batteries here. Because they require a more... Why can't I find the batteries? There they are. I'm still looking for the for the copper tops. Um, because uh, I'll rather have the blue inserter on the batteries and the green circuits and let the steel come in and merge with the electric engines on the belt that's going to be... Um, using red inserters. Just to cut down on the spaghetti a little bit here. So that'll be the assembly for the for the uh, robot frames. And then just for before I, well I guess I could copy those out, but for spacing purposes um, we need to have some uh, gears here. Actually, I think I will bring those down um, into here someplace a little bit because I think I'd like to have the engines. No, that's not going to make a difference. Never mind. Um, hmm. Tying myself up in knots here. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I, I get why they why they took them out and made their own icon, but I I missed that that icon and I I it, I always cannot find it in the menu because of it. Okay. Before I get myself tied up in in uh, knots here again. Let's have 
Let's have the engines coming down here, like this. Uh, steel coming in like this, and then the merged belt going that way. Uh, next to the engines, I want a belt for uh, the iron input here, and then that that'll actually stop at some point and be replaced by a belt containing just the uh, regular engines. And then we'll have some row of machines here, and then the belt for the pipes and gears to make the regular engines there. And then I'll sneak the uh, lubricant in using undergrounds. So I'd like to have these engines start as low as possible but I don't think we can quite fit them all in here. So I think I'm going to do something like this, where I get myself tied up again. where I side load these in, but I want more space here still. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, this will be the first engine makers, right here. And then I know I will need a belt side loading into that. Those can be direct, and then that can go there. And I think it's fine being st standing down to this area because we have this area reserved for ourselves anyway. Not that far. Okay, this will be the iron belt that I still can't draw a straight line with. I always have to think about how this works. We need two pipe machines, so this will be pipe, and so will this. And then this will be gears. Let's end the blinkies. Iron comes in. Uh, I think we need two inserters probably on the gears. But one is fine. I'll put you up here. One is fine on the uh, pipes because it's uh, one one iron per pipe, but it's two iron per gear. So, and it's they're both per half second. So I think we need two inserters on the on the pipes. Uh, those are going to go into the engines along with the steel, which is oh, that's what I messed up. Shoot messed up. Okay. I want the, that's why I had the steel and the green circuits on the same belt. They go together because they're also used here for the steels used for the engines and the green circuit is used for the uh, for the electric engines. So I'm going to move that belt over here. almost. And we'll clear that for now. This will actually be... I don't know why I cleared it and then cleared it again. This will actually be the... No, it's in the wrong spot still. And this whole thing becomes... Alright. Cut, not copy. Becomes that. Still borrowing from the red circuits or the green circuits here. Good. Outputting here still for this. And then the engines will have to come down this way. Merge with the batteries. 
and then go into the frames. Oh, we'll just have to cross over this way. We have a little bit of space left, so that's perfect. And this will be our output belt here. Uh, not that far. And this is getting tight. Too tight for... Because I also need to be able to bring, potentially bring blue circuits here across without getting too spaghetti-y. And I also don't want too much here because uh, we need to have 14 engine makers and 14 electric engine makers. Thinking on stream, thinking on stream. Any, uh, any bright ideas? Electric engines. What are there? I mean, I could just sneak the blue circuits in through here somehow. But I don't really like that. I could do the same with the engines. But I also don't really like that. Um... But I guess I gotta do what works. Uh, the difference here is I usually, or I previously have put the blue circuit component. Uh, yellow science. Now um, I'm trying to find a way to get the robot frames and the um, blue. And I'm trying to find a way to allow the blue circuits to either be made here in this assembly or to come in from the bus um, either one and then uh, merge with the robot frames and um, and then continue on here to the yellow science makers so I'm also a bit I don't. I also don't want to waste a bunch of space vertically, but I suppose I could just move everything up again. Um, it wouldn't hurt, and then I would have a little bit more space to work with. Because then that gives me the ability to bring these down, to come with a belt. Uh, this way somehow with with blue circuits coming from over here merge it in with some sort of a uh, input like this coming from the bus optionally uh, going going this way and merging like that to go to the to go this way to the yellow science uh, so it's it's just I'm trying to kind of hedge our bets a little bit again like I did with blue science on whether we're going to have uh, blue circuits made on the bus already or if we're just going to put them, or if we're just going to have dedicated blue circuit assembly here in this, uh, in this yellow science assembly, and I don't want to rely on one or the other, because um, it kind of just depends on how it flows, in in the in the day, but I think this will be okay. So if we take all of these, to how many do these do we need? Twenty seven. That's 28, and then we can put the bots to work a little bit, or just use use the science here, uh, use the cheat mode here, and that's 27. 
And then we need 14 of these. Just wear those belts out just for now. Fourteen of those, and then we need. Uh, start with that. We need uh, electric engines here. Um, how to move this pole over one? Which way do I want it? This side's a little crowded. I'll put it on this side. We have to move. Take these out. These don't belong here anymore. These stop here because this is the input supply from the gears and pipes. Don't need these belts. They're only there for the blueprint. And pipes. I'm going to do the kind of standard underground here. We need uh, input from the red, the green circuits on this belt here. And then we need lubricant, which will be in the pipe, and then we're going to output to this outer belt here. I think that is it for electric engines. Yeah, I think that's okay. That should be 14 of those. 14 of those, 14 of those. I always like to trim my belts a little bit. And then we just need to bring the lubricant down. Uh, can I get it far enough here? No, of course not. So since I can't do it the way that I want to do it, I'll do it at least a symmetrical way and put the pipes. Blue inserters are backward. You are correct, sir. I forgot to turn them when I was Turning everything else around. I don't really need to mark the fluids anymore because of the pipe auto marking, but I'll be consistent in that. And bring this down. We need a, another one here for iron. And I think that's it for flying robot frames. It's very possible that I missed something. Because it wouldn't be the first time. I'm going to put another pair of undergrounds here just to go under the science minibus. So the final piece of this assembly is uh, blue circuits. Uh, I'm going to split it here in Helmod just to show what we need dedicated to blue circuits. Actually, yes just to show what we need here for blue circuits uh, because I did not put it in this because I was originally assuming the bus but we might as well plan for it here and then if we don't need it we don't need it um, blue circuits are a little um, atrocious as everyone who plays Factorium knows knows all too well because they require so many green circuits um, if we want to kind of target um, no blue belts, which isn't going to truly probably happen, as in none at all, but if we want to target no blue belts, we need two full red belts, plus a bit, plus 6.67, 
Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually bring in uh, two full red belts of green and then a half belt of green and red each. And then um, I'll just merge that second belt of green in at the end, or about halfway. So we need an output belt for the blue circuits here. And then we need an input belt here for uh, red and green. Uh, how many of these machines did we need? I didn't look at the count. 27. Um, we could line them up with basically anything we wanted to. Um, I think I'll just put them here. The circuits. And then we need a belt for green here. And another belt for green circuits here. I'm going to start with blue inserters on these. Uh, eventually they'll need to be... You know what, I'm going to just move these out one, because otherwise I'll regret it later. Because we're going to have to do the same concept with the pipes here as we did with the electric engines. And bring the acid in to the blue circuit assembly. Also offset those by a tile. I think these will have to become stack inserters eventually, but this will this will handle it okay. Um, I'm going to mark this with a dot. I did this yesterday on an input, so that uh, it's only half a belt. It's all we need anyway is a half a belt of blue circuits. So whether we come in from the bus or come in from here, we only we're only going to need was it 3.33? It's yeah, it's negligible. So we need 20 seven of these? Yes. Ooh, I forgot a belt. Eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. That's twenty-eight. Use the wrong tool again. Uh, the other thing I want to do is after machine number 12, uh, was it 14? Here, I want a splitter. I think that's the right spot. Now that was 16. Miscounted. And then really we don't need this belt anymore. And I don't think there's any 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 reason to keep it. Use the tools. Because there's no way that we'll use any more than one one belt full here. Beyond here, I mean. So So I think that'll be good. So this piece here is going to be optional. Um like I said before, but um, either way, it, it works the same. This will be a half of a red and a half of a green. And I said the colors backwards the way that I said it. Can't draw straight lines. And I think that is the end of yellow science and purple science. And that's the most that I had planned for today. Um, we could hook this all up and see how it works. I think I have time to, to hook it all up and see how it works. Okay, so we have the Creative Mods Matter Sources. Yeah, well, it's... It's Yellow Science and Purple Science. It's, it's kind of a... 
you know, it's kind of a nightmare. All right, I'm not going to hook this one up because we're making the blue circuits here. Ooh, I almost forgot the fluid. We have a fluid source here. Place that one while we're here. Acid and lubricant. Okay, we're skipping that one. Uh, this is iron. Both sides. This is green circuits and steel. Plastic. Do those the quick way. This is our output belt here. Steel and stone here. Iron over here, both sides. Green circuits here. Stone bricks. Those are on the first page. Those always throw me off as well. But it makes sense where they are because they're a pavement. And finally, steel on the end here. I think there's actually fewer inputs to... Um, I think there's actually fewer inputs of materials here to uh, purple and yellow science than there is to blue and gray combined. It just feels that way, maybe, anyway. Hey, Catherine. Welcome. You caught us at the end, unless, you, unless you've been here and lurking. Uh, but I, I hooked up, from the end of the last stream at the beginning of this one, I hooked up the, or between the streams, I hooked up the blue and uh, gray to the matter sources and fluid sources. And we we had a successful output of science, and we're doing the same here at the end. At the end of of uh, yellow and purple science, why do we not have frames? Is it just taking a while for the engines to get made, or did I miss an item? I missed steel. Aha. I did miss steel. Let's try this now. Good thing we tested it. That would have been a little disastrous on the day. New game. Nice. Can't wait. No spoilers, though. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know that a yellow belt is even enough for blue machines here. Um, I can't test it simply. Um, because the blue machines are... Uh, what, what, what is it? 60%? Yeah, the yellow belts actually aren't enough. The blue machines are 60% of the... Uh, yellow machines as far as speed goes and the yellow belts are only half as far as um, capacity goes. So actually the, one of these belts at least will need to be read from the onset. So I'll just go ahead and put that in now because it's going to have to be. But at this point in the game honestly we're going to have red belts. <laughs> so, it's really just a matter of... And then I need a red splitter. It's really just a matter of doing... kind of doing the minimum here. And it's... Uh, um, and we'll see. I'm going to continue the red belt the whole way up, actually, just to make it nice. Very early access. Well... There, 
at least it's in early access and frustrating as opposed to release and frustrating. I'm assuming the frustration is the early accessness. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's an excellent point, Malarian. Is is these all could be truly be red belts, and it wouldn't. This this whole. I mean, to be fair, this never needs to be a red belt. We're only gonna have 3.33 here. Never needs to be. Um, the the frames and even the low density structures. None of those will need to pass a yellow belt, but some of these supply lines, um, especially the supply line for the blue circuits itself, actually none of these even, uh, maybe maybe this copper needs to be as well, red belts. Yeah, I think I'll upgrade. Um, will, this, will this work? I always forget how this works. Will it only do to red? Come on, bots. Are you bringing red or blue? Red. Excellent. I think I'll just do as you suggest and do the... Um, oh, it shows me what it does. Yeah, that's true. You could do a third yellow belt. Um, my, also, my concern here is... Well, no, the copper's making it at the end just fine. So yeah, we could do a third yellow belt. Um, hey, Kelsey. Um... That might actually be a if we, if we want to stick. I mean, to be fair, once we get to yellow machines, we're going to need red belts in a lot of places in 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 this science bus. So it's really kind of up to do we want to um, do we want to encourage uh, do we want to just use red belts in certain places, or do we want to um, or do we want to not encourage them at all? Um, I know we want to avoid blue belts. I completely agree with avoiding blue belts, but um, it's going to be tough even on uh, parts of the blue circuit uh, or the blue science to not ha to. We're going to need red belts there too once we're making five science a second. Oh. Okay. Well then we'll. Um, then we'll, we'll be fine with, I think we'll be fine with, with yellow then, I think with just this one ex exception, uh, needing a, an extra belt here on um, blue circuits. I'm just checking my my notes I had, I had around here. But I think so. Yeah, if we stick with all with all yellow belts and no more than blue machines, I think we'll be okay with. Um, I think we'll be okay as long as I put a third belt on here. So I'll just do that. Let me downgrade these. Back to yellow. Let the bots work. And then we'll just divide this into into th about thirds. Maybe I'll keep the second belt going a little bit longer. Maybe about there. Yeah, even at Blue Machines, it's three science per second. So um, it's it's not slow by any any stretch of the imagination. Let's do uh, let's do a priority input here from the left, uh, and also from the left and output to the right, just to kind of get everything shoved over. And then I'll extend this one a little bit longer here, maybe about to there, and get everything shoved over there as well. Probably don't need that one anymore. That's 10. That should be plenty enough. That's 8. And then the final 9. <laughs> I should move. Should I be super particular about this and move this down one so that's all 9s? Okay, yes. 
You convinced me. Wow, six people and still two hours. Yeah, with um, I I assume there's probably some diminishing returns on how many people. Um, but I don't. I think we'll we'll get to the rocket within four hours, almost certainly. All right. So blue circuits is backed up. Why are frames still not going? Because I have the. No. Are they not going? Why are they not going? Because I didn't put the batteries in here. That's why. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want that either. Let's do... Let's do like this. I don't necessarily like the squiggles, but... And I need to probably flush this line out. Yes, I do. I'm just going to use a matter void here. Just to drain that line. Oh, yeah, I do. Well, purple science works anyway. That's good. All right, so we need some need some batteries here. We really only need a half belt of batteries because it's going to get merged anyway. So I'll go ahead and throw the. I was looking for the dot there. Skip a step. Okay. Okay, that should work a little better now. And I can probably take this off now. Yeah, if we have this planned out well, Kelsey, I I think I think it'll be I think we'll be done in around four hours. Okay, frames are being made. Just want to see a little bit of yellow science being made. And then we'll call it for the night. Um, I don't know, Lana. He used to be. I haven't watched him in quite a long time. I'm not sure how he... How he is in 0 0.17. I mean, I think the last time I watched him was still 0 0.15. Okay, there's yellow science being made. And once, once the robot frames get caught up, I think we'll be uh, good to go. So I think we'll call it there. Um... I'll probably leave this assembled until the next stream. Uh, on the next stream, we're going to do some um, rocket parts, uh, some more low-density structures for the rocket, and rocket fuel. Um, rocket fuel, the plan will be uh, for it to go kind of wherever, um, probably nearby oil and just built in the rocket fuel. But... Uh, We'll see how that works. Um, I see that the... Uh, I missed some inserters here. Oh no. Wow. That was bad. Okay. Uh, I think everything is green or perhaps yellow backing up. Um, now that we have enough... <laughs> enough tracks going in. Uh, we might have enough... You know what? This actually isn't going to work the way that I wanted it to. We need to go the other direction with, with these. 
because they need to join in much further down the line than this. Uh, output to the right. They need to join in not at this merge point here, but in fact somewhere halfway here on this line. 28, so that's 14, so they need to actually merge in here. And we're not getting enough steel or stone for this. Um, wow. Oh, I see why. I need two of these belts. It's in my notes and everything. That's kind of, um, kind of silly. Uh, I'm going to merge these a couple of times, and then not this last one at all. Force it to the left. I don't need to merge that one. And to the left. That might work better. Let's see. And actually, honestly, here we might actually need a third belt as well. Um, I may have, I'm going to have to recheck my all of my numbers and all my belts um, if we're completely uh, not wanting to use um, to use any red belts. I may have to insert and add in merge belts and some of the other blueprints as well. So I'm going to check those out uh, after we're finished and see. I think I'll do um, a couple of merges on these, maybe, just to make sure that we get everything in the line. And then do it like that. Because we're gobbling up an awful lot. Actually, really, I think this might need to be three, um, three belts as well. Like that. Except that I did it in the wrong spot. I wanted this one to still go this way. Looks like we don't need this. Later, Kelsey. We're finishing up anyway. I think this will work. I'm gonna let it run for a while. See how it see how it kind of works out. Um, we may end up changing a couple things around. We may end up adding some more supply belts in. But uh, but I think that's good for tonight. Um, so I I will probably plan on streaming at least one other time for for this project with the rocket components um, and then from there um, find some regularly scheduled content thanks for coming bye